You might be aware that there's low pressure right at the center of a hurricane inside of its eye. Well, there's also low pressure right at the center of a tornado inside its ring of strongest winds. A tornado hit Tipton, Oklahoma, southwest Oklahoma on Monday, and it hit what's called Mesonet, measurement site of the University of Oklahoma, and it recorded the lowest pressure inside that tornado and also 86 mile per hour winds before the instrument itself was knocked down. We'll watch the pressure change as the tornado approached this shelter from the southwest. It began about 961 millibars and then dropped very rapidly as the edge of the tornado approached and then the tornado moved over the site down to about 913 millibars, about a 47 millibar drop. So there's not a vacuum, that's only about a 5% change of normal pressure. And then as the tornado goes back beyond and passes by the site, the pressure rises back up and then continues back to about its normal value. So all told, there was about a one minute drop and about a one minute rise. The fastest winds taking place about halfway through the pressure drop and about halfway through the pressure rise out away from the center of the tornado where the winds are lightest down near the lowest value. Ideally, this kind of 47 millibar pressure drop would correspond to a wind of about 155 miles per hour. Now, the ground in this case, it was estimated as EF2 up to about 135 miles per hour, part of that reduction due to the effects of friction near the ground. So that's the anatomy of a tornado, its pressure and its wind.